This is Murli Notes for March 2nd, 2022. Who is God? God Shiva is talking. I am here to enable you to attain the kingdom of the world through this Raj Yoga and Gyan. Shiva is teaching us through this ordinary body. He has incarnated. The sign of the presence of life in a womb is when there is movement. The body is tangible, the soul is not. Shiva is vichitra, that means he has no body of his own. The incorporeal soul remembers the incorporeal supreme soul through the body. You should never define God as a bodily person, whether physical or subtle. Who is God? The word God implies the incorporeal. Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar are subtle deities. God is not a deity. They bow to incorporeal God in most religions. God says, I am the Supreme Soul. Images exist to represent the incorporeal Supreme Soul and incorporeal souls. These are the large Shivalingam and the small Salagrams. This demonstrates that the souls are children of the Supreme Soul. In fact, the size of souls and the Supreme Soul is the same, infinitesimal. There are no physical dimensions. Objects have dimensions, beings do not. Size does not apply to the soul. The appearance of a soul or the Supreme Soul would be the same. You cannot distinguish on the basis of appearance. In the material world, people make distinctions on the basis of appearance. Where is God? God Shiva says, I dwell in the most distant region, Paramdham, beyond matter, beyond the ether, beyond the mind space, the subtle regions. Human consciousness cannot conceptualize this until I inform you. What is God? God Shiva says, I am the seed of the human world. That means all information about the human world Human history set in the geography of the earth from the beginning to the end is contained in me. Contained in me are the sanskaras of knowledge. Contained in you are your individual predestined roles which may endure for a maximum of 5,000 years and a minimum of one second. You have a maximum of 84 births and a minimum of one birth. The seed is defined as the creator. The analogy is that once a seed is planted, the entire tree grows until its lifespan is complete. Then it is destroyed or dies, leaving its seed and begins once again. The form of the soul is infinitesimal, non-physical, and the body and its role are vast and complex, 
discernible in the material dimension only. At this time, all are focused on the war in Ukraine. All attention is on the right and wrong of the protagonists, which is proved by human suffering of the killed, wounded, traumatized, and those who flee or have fled. Baba has given the instruction put a full stop instantly. The war is a scene of the drama. A Raj Yogi must also use this situation to practice applying a full stop instantly while being aware of the intense battle going on and the terribleness of war that is playing out in their consciousness. Both the war and the full stop must coexist, that is, they must both occur simultaneously. Practice to be there and not there simultaneously. This is a test of attachment. The knowledge of the Gita is how to pass the test of attachment. The first item of new information is that the Supreme Soul, the Father, is communicating information to you. Certainly, the highest on high God Shiva says that I will test you to the highest degree. God says, I am teaching you Raj Yoga to make you into deities for your next 21 births. You can take a position in the Suryavanshi or the Chandravanshi, the dynasty of the sun or the dynasty of the moon. There are many statuses to be attained. You choose the status you want. Then take the exam and gain the status. I recommend that you go for the highest possible status. At the time of the Confluence Age, the entire kingdom is getting established. You are not studying for a status in this lifetime. This is your income for the future. What people do now is for their present lives. People are not focused on their future lives, but you are aware that your study is for many lives to come. The Father is providing you with an inheritance that will endure for your next 21 births. You are studying on the basis of this faith. No one would sit here and study this knowledge unless they have this faith. The soul is pleased that the father who does not have a human body is teaching. He is an extraterrestrial, a non-human. God Shiva says, I, the incorporeal one, incarnate into the human body of Brahma. This drama is eternally predestined. You are now cognizant of the entire drama. All souls are located in Mulavatan, the soul world, Nirvana, Paramdham. There is no human soul who knows that the soul dwells with the Father in Paramdham. This location is also called Brahman. The soul must have no physical dimensions in order to sit in the forehead 
and operate the body, brain, etc. from that position. The soul requires a human body to express what is contained within it, the eternally predestined rule. The drama is eternally already made and getting made moment by moment. This is the paradox. Understand this paradox and that this is what makes the drama real. Each soul is repeating their predestined imperishable part exactly and identically. It cannot be changed. It is a 3D film. Maybe we should call it a 5D film because in addition to sight and sound and location, there is also taste and fragrance. This is new information. Very few can understand this. For as long as the waters of knowledge are flowing, continue to drink. It will continue until the end. This study is for our next 21 births. You are indeed ecstatic that God is directly teaching you. God, the purifier of the impure, is your father and teaching you Raj Yoga for the kingdom of the world. We are taking independent mastery of the world of heaven. It is very simple and straightforward. However, Maya puts many obstacles in your way, causing you to stop the study. But you must study this every day. God is the Lord of the three worlds, the world almighty authority, the liberator and guide who is greatly praised, yet so few of you BKs recognize him. At this time, you are also unrecognized. You spirits dwell in Mulvatan and you also visit the subtle regions. Some people receive visions, but you travel to the world of visions practically. You Brahmins enter your angelic form to meet the deities there. That is the convergence of Brahmins and deities. This is also the confluence of Brahmins and warriors. You bring Bhog there. There will be many visions at the end. The visions will reveal your entry into heaven. You saw these visions at the beginning and you will see them at the end also, provided you continue with the study. Benefit yourself and claim a high status. This is extraordinary information. Do not make mistakes. Maya will extinguish your light, so you must remain vigilantly in remembrance of the Father as well as sustain the study. Stay inside, otherwise your ecstasy vanishes. Stay in the right company. Stay free. Om Shanti.